Welcome to another episode of The Brand Called You, a podcast and podcast show that brings you leadership lessons, knowledge, experience, and wisdom from thousands of successful individuals from around the world. I'm your host, Ashutosh Garg, and today I'm with a very accomplished technology professional who has started the Vedic uh, Tree Foundation and who has a lot of knowledge, hai, Mr. Abhinav Goswami, USSA. Abhinav Ji, welcome to the show. नमस्ते आशुतोषी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका uh, जैसे मैंने बोला था कि अभिनव जी इज द फाउंडर ऑफ वेदिक ट्री फाउंडेशन तो अभिनव जी मुझे सबसे पहला सवाल आपसे पूछना है कि वेदिक ट्री फाउंडेशन की बैकग्राउंड क्या है और आप लोग यहाँ क्या करते हैं और उससे पहले थोड़ा अपना भी बैकग्राउंड बताइए अच्छा अच्छा तो मैं बेसिकली uh, उत्तर प्रदेश में अलीगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट में खैर तहसील है वहां पे एक जरारा गांव है वहां पैदा हुआ था जी। और अभी रफली पचास के आसपास होने वाला हूं तो आप समझ सकते हैं कि उस जमाने में चीजें अलग थी आज अलग हैं बिल्कुल और गांव में पलना बढ़ना अपने आप में एक अलग आनंद होता है हमें तो आता था बाकी लोगों को पता नहीं और गांव में फलते बढ़ते हमारी लाइफ ऐसी थी कि स्कूल जाते थे स्कूल से आते थे तो घर में गाय थी पंद्रह बीस उनको चराने चले जाते थे मतलब लाइफ में जैसे आजकल के बच्चे बोलते हैं ना कि बोर हो रहे हैं तो हमें बोर होने का मौका ही नहीं मिला कभी <laughs> मैं शहरों में देखा है मेरे बच्चे भी यहाँ अमेरिका में जब थे तो कहते थे पापा वी आर बोर एवरी सैटरडे उनका ये रहता था और जबकि उन्होंने काफी कुछ जगह हम जा चुके थे दिखा चुके हैं सब कुछ है। तो गांव में लाइफ स्किल बेस्ड थी मतलब आपके पास समय नहीं है नहीं। वेस्ट करने के लिए आप कोई ना कोई स्किल सीख रहे हो और वो लाइफ स्किल होते थे वहां से पढ़ाई हुई मतलब बारहवीं गांव से की फिर उसके बाद बीएससी एस सी यूनिवर्सिटी से की एम और रिसर्च डेली यूनिवर्सिटी से की ये सारा कुछ स्टेटिस्टिक्स की पढ़ाई की और उसके बाद कॉर्पोरेट uh, में घुस गए पहले दो साल गैस लेक्चरशिप की स्टैटिस्टिक्स डिपार्टमेंट में एंड देन रैन बैक्सी से शुरुआत हुई एज ए बायो स्टैटिस्टिशियन वहां से अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली बैंगलोर जाने की जी कैपिटल फ्रैंकलिन टेम्पल्टन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स एक कंपनी है आईकॉर उसमें काम किया उन्होंने फिर न्यूयॉर्क में प्लेस कर दिया न्यूयॉर्क में काफी काम किया फिर रॉयल बैंक ऑफ स्कॉटलैंड में एक पोजीशन मिली वाइस प्रेसिडेंट का रिस्क उसके बाद एप्पल में अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली कुपर्टिनो कैलिफोर्निया में वहां काम किया तो ये सब काम करने के पीछे एक जो जीवन की यात्रा रही मेरा बेस गांव ही रहा और गांव के कुछ एक लक्षण होते हैं जो बहुत लोगों में नहीं निकल पाते मेरे में भी नहीं निकल पाए तो वो ये थे कि ये जो लाइफ हम आज जी रहे हैं जिसको बहुत सी जमाना बोलता है सक्सेसफुल लाइफ व्हाट इज द क्राइटेरिया फॉर द सक्सेस और इस सक्सेस की परसूट में हम क्यों लगे हुए हैं hmm. तो बचपन में बहुत कुछ तो इसका आंसर मुझे अपनी एजुकेशन सिस्टम में भी लगा कि वो हमारी वैल्यू सिस्टम के थोड़ा खिलाफ है जो hmm. जो मॉडर्न एजुकेशन सिस्टम है जी. Uh, उसमें जैसे बचपन में हम जब पढ़ते थे आठवीं की बुक थी एक भूगोल की तो उसमें पढ़ाते थे कि अगर आपको विकसित होना है तो आप गांव छोड़ जाइए गांव में तो गंवार रहते हैं पालते हैं दूध पान निकालते हैं ये सब लोग विकसित नहीं हो सकते यू हैव टू लिव अ डेवलप लाइफ और टू बिकम डेवलप यू हैव टू रन अवे सो दिस हैबिट ऑफ रनिंग अवे फ्रॉम माई रूट फ्रॉम माई विलेज ब्रॉट मी टू एपल नाउ credit could be given that yeah you did uh, education you did risk you took risk and all of that mm. but when i talk to people who are at that success which i am trying to get mm. when when i talk to them they say uh, you know some of the success people i met who who have earned a lot of money who have earned mm. and and mm. ask them where do you live they say oh i live countryside mm. and i say so what is countryside Mm-hmm. they say there is no pollution there is no pesticide there is no chemical there is oh. no noise there is a beautiful place and then i'm remembering my village you know it was the same thing huh. why i was forced to give up my uh, countryside in pursuit of something which oh. at the end of you don't enjoy very this true this is one aspect 
<laughs> so, आ, वहां से ये वैदिक ट्री का कुछ कॉन्सेप्ट निकला कि क्या मैं अपने गांव में रह के भी सक्सेसफुल हो सकता हूँ कि नहीं बिल्कुल और उस सक्सेस के मायने क्या होने चाहिए तो 2016 में ये विचार उठा कि एक प्लेटफॉर्म ऐसा बनाया जाए जहाँ पे जो रूरल यूथ है उसको जिसको भागना है भागे लेकिन जो नहीं भागना चाहता वो उसको एक प्लेटफॉर्म मिले कि वो वहां पे भी सफल हो सके सो हाउ डू वी क्रिएट स्किल इन रूरल कम्युनिटी हाउ डू वी क्रिएट अ प्लेटफॉर्म हाउ डू वी क्रिएट एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज सो उसके लिए ये कॉन्सेप्ट शुरू हुआ uh, एक पक्ष ये भी था कि आई जनरली मीट टू पीपल हु आर थर्टी फोर्टी ईयर ओल्डर टू मी और इवन फाइव ईयर ओल्ड एंड ट्राई टू I'm being a data scientist. I try to collect data. Bilkul. You know, there are two ways to collect data. Either you experience yourself, or you talk to those who have experienced that Absolutely. thing already. Correct. So if I have to have a experience of a seventy year, I have to talk to a person who has crossed seventy. Correct. They can give me better answer. Bilkul. So talking to these people, what I realized that uh, there are certain things in life they wanted to do could not do, and mm. now. that idea itself is taking lot of their energy they talk about hey degradation in the value system degradation in the in the human behavior and all that but when you ask them can we do something then they start saying oh my physical health is not good i, I cannot know. walk well said that. well said so, so tell me so i mean this how, how would you has... define what what would you define as vedic education you know bahut discussion ho raha hai on vedic education all over the world एंड आपने तो उसमें बहुत काम किया है तो फॉर आर व्यूअर्स एंड लिसनर्स थोड़ा समझाइए व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज वैदिक एजुकेशन देखिए वैदिक शब्द से पूरी दुनिया को नफरत है आज की रेट में वो करती थी वो अब अब तो सभी बात करने शुरू कर रहे हैं कि वेदास को थोड़ा पढ़ना चाहिए समझना चाहिए <laughs> अच्छा ठीक है तो मैं मान लूंगा हालांकि मुझे ऐसा दिख नहीं रहा के कारण मैं आपको भी बताऊ जी जी आ, लेकिन मेरा कहने का मतलब है कि जब भारत दो सौ साल पहले जाइए विश्व की आर्थिक अर्थव्यवस्था में इंडिया वाज लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इवन आफ्टर सेवन एट हंड्रेड इयर्स ऑफ मुगल टॉर्चर वी वर द लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी करेक्ट Correct. So Britishers never came to a snake charming country. You know mm. what they taught us was, oh, right. this is a country of snake charmers, right? Mm. Um, uh, so snake we charmers and elephants walking on marine drive. I've been asked this question. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so, so we were not that country. The beautiful mm. temple in the world you would see, they they are all in India. So Absolutely. we were the most rich community. Mm. Uh, we still are. we are the most respective uh, society in rest of the world you mm-hmm. talk to people from india who live in america or europe or any anywhere in the world mm-hmm. so in terms of civilization in terms in terms of the value system we are most cultured people mm-hmm. in the world mm-hmm. now if you were to package it in one word mm-hmm. all of this you know my behavior to another human being my habits my attitude my uh, ability to think different and all of that ji some people just wrap it in a old way of saying it's a mm. it's a vedic culture mm. that's all because that culture is documented it written we worship every single thing which you can see feel experience and even not seen mm. we just worship everything mm. uh, we would worship energy in the form of shakti we would mm. worship shiva we would worship a tree a river a mountain um y- you know so uh, animals very true <laughs> so, very true and this so, is also sanatan dharma then isn't it that, that that's the sanatan that's the Absolutely. definition so so there's there's no single way to define what is vedic system what is vedic education i think the educational part of it you can say that uh, a system wherein a youth five year kid goes to a system mm-hmm. comes out after 15 20 years of education mm-hmm. and is ready to contribute positively to the community mm-hmm. i would consider that 
empathic educated person mm -hmm. because that person should be sensitive about the country he is living about the work he is doing about the human behavior around it mm -hmm. and all of that making a better place every day very true so so that's how this Vedic tree originated. Like, you know, what I want to do if I have to build up a platform uh, is just educating a mind is not enough. Mm. You have to give them a good quality food. Correct. So before education, if your tummy is not full, it's hard mm. to give any idea to Absolutely. anybody. Mm. Very so good. focus became more into, uh, into how do we fix the food supply? You know, today mm. we are struggling for soil which can grow food. Mm. I mean, the scientists are predicting only 50, 60 years of soil is left to grow food. Correct. So how do we fix that? You know, this is a problem created in the last 50, 60 years since we Correct. started using chemicals. Mm. How do we move away from it? And who can fix it? And then I go back again to our ancient knowledge. Mm. In that they said, Gavo Vishwasya Matara. Mm. The mother, the cow is mother of universe. Mm. So if it's mother of universe, which mm. means mother of this earth also. Mm. So, I mean, these are some mantras we call, but these, I would say, patented formulas, whichever says is date, mm. but they never wrote a name on it. They never said, oh, it's patented by me or this. Mm. Like the guy who wrote Shanti Mantra. Mm. Om Deo Shanti Antariksham Om Shanti Prativi Shanti. You read that whole thing. Mm. He talks peace in every single thing which you can see and not see. Mm. When he says Antarikshakam Shanti, mm. why are they talking peace in the sky mm. at that time? Because probably they knew that there will be a generation, there will be a civilization which will create mess in the sky. Mm. And today, all of our struggle is a battle in the sky. Correct. All the wars are not being fought on ground. They are being mm. fought in the sky. Correct. You're using satellite, using internet, we're using missiles and all of that. Who's mm. who's fighting it mm. with the power in the sky? Mm. So all I'm trying to say that we are the culture who has actually not only acknowledges these challenges, mm. but we also propose solutions. So tell me, and, uh, you know, given your vast understanding, and given the fact mm. that there is a, so much focus on India, what should we mm. be doing as Indians to bring back so much of our Vedic learning and so much of, of, the, of the ways that our ancestors used to live in? This is what you high speed. एक इंडिया की जर्नी है जो बड़े फास्ट चल रही है पिछले जब से इंडिया को डिफाइन किया गया है पोस्ट ब्रिटिशर्स राइट सो वी हैव ट्राइड टू डू एवरीथिंग वी पॉसिबली कुड डू टू अंडू भारत एंड डू इंडिया नाउ आई थिंक इट्स टाइम टू स्लो इट डाउन मे बी पुट सम ब्रेक मे बी टेक अ टर्न चेंज द डायरेक्शन at a slow pace hmm. and then the speed on Bharat hmm. to build that Bharat. Bharat is well defined in our scriptures. It's hmm. not that Britishers found or Columbus found or, you know, yeah. if Columbus found then who was who was Sikandar, where hmm. he came? He hmm. came to Bharat hmm. and Sikandar was before Columbus, right? Hmm. So these there's so much contradictory and we can go on and on. But what yeah. I'm saying... And, and, and you're right. I mean, this, Sikandar found Bharat, but before that... The Bharatiya, right? So controversies of wrong history and all of that, mm. we need to, you know, uh, let it go and then try to build what we want to build as a Bharat. Mm. Bharat simply it says Bhase Rati Ite Bharat. Mm -hmm. The civilization which is always busy in collecting knowledge. Mm. Bha means gyan. Mm. So we were the civilization which was always busy in collecting knowledge. And we're still doing, uh, a lot of people, you know, among us, we're all doing. So we need to transition into that direction. Mm -hmm. We need to understand, we need to take control of our systems. Mm -hmm. You know, education system in India need to be controlled by Bharat-based value system. Mm -hmm. Not by some imported idea of, you know, people just blame Makhale, I say, yeah, the guy changed this 200 years back. Mm. What is stopping us to 
it now who's stopping us tell us mm-hmm. if i have to educate my kids why i have to send my kids to a school i mean i understand the practical challenges but let me tell you if a youth like me who has small kids if you are ready to pay them 1 lakh 2 lakh per month to some convent school mm-hmm. can 100 200 people not come forward together and say okay one month one year of edu- fee i am depositing here and these mm-hmm. 100 people will set up a school on our value system and we'll run it mm-hmm. so is is idea is simple is basically first acknowledge the challenge once you acknowledge the challenge then find the solution mm-hmm. and vedic tree foundation could be a thread in all of these initiatives how wonderful how do we put things on the ground mm. so in india we have a project in aligarh uh, we fix the food issue kind of you know there 200 cows facility cow dung urine goes to buy this it produces mm. methane uh, generates electricity from that methane so we produce 30 kilowatt three phase 440 volt electricity making a self system farm and then biosolary gets converted to bio fertilizer goes to soil soil produces good quality food no chemical pesticide goes to people will go to kids um, the fodder goes to cow so, so you, you built up the whole ecosystem so cow is central to all of it mm. there's a eight point cow based ecosystem we have we are working where in your dairy your energy need your um, uh, fertilizer pesticide your medicine herbal health mm. uh, your eco tourism and breed improvement right all of this is centered around cows mm. so cow in a way is creator of wealth you understand c o w is creator of wealth yes yes very interesting right yeah and this, i've i've also been seeing ki several some of the nordic countries now have started mm. uh, you know talking about wealth creation of the cow I mm-hmm. don't know if you read. Yeah. And I was telling someone. I said that it's interesting because in India, me to, बहुत सालों से बात करते हैं इसकी the cow as as being the the central of the center of the universe. But I think people are beginning to discover it in some other countries. आपका क्या perspective है इसमें जी? देखिए मेरा perspective ये है कि हमारी existence any human being on this planet. you alone cannot exist mm. right there is a whole ecosystem in the soil there is whole ecosystem under the soil there is whole mm. ecosystem above the soil in the sky everywhere mm. even our body survives with the survival of billions of bacteria inside us mm. who are balancing us mm. so uh, if we acknowledge that then cow or animal or tree or anything mm. they all need to exist then only we exist correct so if we create that kind of ecosystem that understanding it does not matter what motivates you to raise a cow or raise mm. a horse or raise mm. something but if you can live with them and understand they are part of your life then yes that's a good approach mm. now you go one step ahead oh i can also fulfill my needs from it like i'm talking cow based ecosystem mm. then obviously i don't have to depend you know why do i have to poison my soil if i can create fertilizer similar or better fertilizer from cow dung and urine mm. then why would i poison my soil mm. why would i poison the atmosphere mm. i mean of course government may say that you are not part of my tax paying or industrial setup or gdp and all of that mm. but you know if you were to choose between gdp and your own life what would you choose mm. it we we should we should first be alive to understand that gdp today's food is poisonous today's milk is so much adulterated i mean that's the battle i think we have already lost now but and the reason is people just think that you know that whole idea of you know gaon mein gamar rehte hain gaye palte hain sab until we fight that um it will be difficult Absolutely. so mujhe ek cheez aur bataiye i mean we don't have so much time left but jaise aapne jo aligarh ke paas jo experiment shuru kiya hmm. hai uske kya hmm. results hain aur usko replicate karenge log ha bilkul replicate karenge ये डिसेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम है हमारा देश खुद भारत सरकार कहती है भी 300 मिलियन कैटल उनके पास है पूरे देश में अगर जिस देश में 300 मिलियन 
कैटल हैं एक कैटल एवरेज भी दस किलो गोबर और और दस किलो गोमूत्र डेली करता है अगर हम उसको एज ए इनपुट माने एज ए इंडस्ट्रियल सेटअप तो आप मैथ लगा लीजिएगा थ्री हंड्रेड मिलियन इंटू टेन दैट इज द रॉ मटेरियल अवेलेबल एवरी डे टू दैट कंट्री विच इज यूनिक इन द वर्ल्ड एक किलो गोबर से बीस ग्राम बायोगैस निकलती है ना यू कैन इमेजिन 300 million into 10 kg in, and multiplied by this 20 gram gas per kg mm. see how much bio resource we are just wasting we are not using it mm. agar wo gas aa jaye aap rural india ko energy free kar sakte hain mm. ye bilkul possible hai koi isme karan nahi aapko koi subsidy chemical fertilizer pe dene ki avashyakta hi nahi hai mm. kyunki itna fertilizer paida ho jayega ki aapko uh, अपने लिए जहर उगाने के लिए जो केमिकल चाहिए वो जरूरत नहीं तो मेरा कहने का मतलब है कि ये ये प्रोजेक्ट एक एक्सपेरिमेंटल मेरे लिए भी है क्योंकि समहाउ आई वाज एक्सपोज टू इंडस्ट्रियल सेटअप इंडस्ट्रियल थिंकिंग बिग स्केल सॉल्यूशंस एंड आई थॉट यू नो कैन सम पोर्शन ऑफ माय नॉलेज बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड फॉर बेटरमेंट ऑफ द कंट्री विच बिल्ट मी Uh, what I am, I am today because of the culture, because of the value system, Correct. because of the village I grew up, because all of that Sanatan Dharma which you talked. Mm. So, what should be my contribution to that? To mm. preserve it, mm. and that's all I'm trying to do. That's absolutely fantastic. And on that note, Abhinav ji, uh, thank you so much for speaking to me. Thank you for all the knowledge you have given us relating to so many different. aspects of the vedic tree foundation thank you for talk to me about uh, the 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 cow uh, and as you said cow stands for cow which is create the wealth uh, thank you also for yes. sharing with me some of your thoughts on how there can be a change in the entire country if we were to use just some of the resources uh, from our cows thank you again and good yes. luck thank you so much ashtosh you really appreciate and i look forward for uh, more engagements and more you know working the community i would be happy to support any cause like that or maybe get support from the people who are willing to do uh, you know something good for the motherland thank you namaste namaste thank you for listening to the brand called you video cast and podcast a platform that brings you knowledge experience and wisdom of hundreds of successful individuals from around the world do visit our website www.tbcy.in to watch and listen to the stories of many more individuals you can also follow us on youtube facebook instagram and twitter just search for the brand called you